Miami-Dade commissioners tomorrow set to take the controversial issue of building a new trash incinerator. The preferred site is on the edge of the Everglades, not far from where Broward County is considering building its own incinerator. CBS News Miami's Joan Murray looks at our expanding waste problem and why some are trashing the solution. I got this hot potato when I got here. I, I, my commitment was to have this reconsidered correctly. Miami-Dade County Commissioner Juan Carlos Bermuda's hot potato was a smoldering crisis when the county's 40-year-old waste to energy plant burned and was shut down six months ago. He supports a new incinerator being built away from Doral. The prime location, the old Opalaca West Airport off US-27. Both Broward and Dade have grown exponentially and, you know, we're going to have to deal with this issue. It's estimated everyone in South Florida generates four and a half pounds of trash a day. Landfill space is maxing out, and because of methane emissions, some say landfills are worse for global warming. Not Richard Ramsharatar, who lives in West Broward, and is fighting the possibility of two incinerators being built near his home. The Miami-Dade proposal off US-27 and Broward suggested incinerator off US-27 at the county landfill. It's alarming because uh, this is going to not only affect um, human health, uh, but it's going to affect the, the entire environment, including the Everglades, uh, because uh, you can't contain uh, the toxic air pollution and the other fallouts that you would get from the toxic ash uh, contaminating groundwater. Uh, you have the Miccosukee uh, tribe of Indians living out there. Uh, their, their entire existence could be impacted. Both Miami-Dade and Broward recognize more recycling needs to be part of the long-term trash solution. Broward said if we could go from the current 31% recycling rate to 75% within five years, it would eliminate the need for another incinerator in Broward. Well, they need to get back up uh, to recycling and composting, and I think it's a public education campaign that needs to be led because zero waste really starts at the home. It would take at least five years before any incinerator is built here along US 27. But in the meantime, our trash issue only keeps getting bigger, meaning all communities here in South Florida are gonna be dealing with this issue for some time. At the Broward Miami-Dade County Line, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.